Hey, baby. Baby boy. There. Say another little hello to our viewers. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome, 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 my lovelies. And Nigel says hello too. There we are. Oh, you're going, he's just going to go in the bags and everything that I'm about to show you. Hey, let's put you on there for a memento. Hey, lovely boy. Hello, everybody. Um, cheers. Say hello. One ginger cat. <laughs> you baby, aren't you? You're my boy. Yes, you are. Right. Okay. Thank you again for uh, watching my next video. Um, I hope you liked the previous one, which was the um, Kensington Hall Fair that we went to. Um, and as promised, this is um, the next day or two. Um, I thought I would just show you the bits and pieces that we um, bought whilst at the fair. Um, before I just put these here, before I do that, um, I will show you this book first of all. It's uh, let me put my glasses on. Um, the name of the house is Featherstone Hall Hotel, and it's a house by Julie Jackson. If I hold that up there and just show you the back, and there's a picture partly of Julie herself. And Julie Jackson is uh, D Door Designs. Um, I will put her uh, link. Um, I think I'll find it um, I, uh, down below in the description box. You can look on her, her website um, and see what she's up to. Um, and she's she, she's not paying me at all for advertising her. She doesn't even know she's on this video. Um, but she is someone that we, we uh, like very, very much and a miniaturist that we've seen over the years. Um, at the uh, fairs that we've been to, and this is a uh, this is a, a major a house that she uh, put together from scratch, um, a kit, and then built the whole thing and decorated all the rooms as a hotel. Um, she sells these books. This is one. This is her book. Um, honestly, I've she again. She hasn't asked me to sell anything, and if she sees this video. Um, she, she might be quite surprised that I'm even mentioning it, I don't know. Um, but it's a 10th anniversary special, um, the book. Um, and I have to say, it's about the house and it's about all her journey from beginning to end. So in a way, it's a sort of, it's a book version of what I'm hoping to do with my Art Deco build. Um, I'm going to do this on video so you guys can actually see parts of it going together and hopefully over time I'm sure it's going to take a long time so I hope you've got patience please some of you um, hopefully you will enjoy several videos to come in different parts um, uh, so you can see this house built from um, from a cardboard box so from a from flat pack to deco dents. there you go just made that up I'm not even wearing cuffs but it's off of one of those off the cuff I don't even know what I just said then. I'll remember and I'll put it maybe in the title. From flat pack to deco dance. Anyway, <laughs> this, this isn't about my house today. This is about what we're showing today. But this book, I have to tell you, um, we've seen it before, uh, not read it, but we saw that Julie uh, had this book, that she'd made this book. Um, and it is about the house. It's got all the different sec all the different rooms there. Um, different pages to tell you about them but it's not just a book telling you all about each room and seeing the finished photos yes there's loads of finished photos so you can get an idea close up of what the house looks like but I have just started reading I'm only a quarter of the way through it if that and there's so much she talks all about the uh, from from the beginning there's there's photos in there from you know from scratch um, how she's done flooring and talked about curtains and uh, going to different places to collect items to to make things um, and it's just it's really it is really the build um, parts of the build all the way through and the stories that go on in the hotel each room has a story all the characters have names and why they're there and what what they're doing um, I mean there's you know there's pictures right from the start there the house 
as it is in pieces, the box, and then this moving on. But she gives you, there's so much um, DIY in it, um, how she's done different things, um, how she's made different things and put things together. And she's up, which is really good, which is what I try and say in my videos. Um, she's pointed out the, the pitfalls of her journey. So when she's gone through and done certain things, after, in hindsight, she would have done them differently. She would have done this first before she put this together and so on. Um, and when you read all this, this gives you the insight before you start your own uh, build or whatever projects you're working on. Look, there's flooring tiles going together. So like I said, it's not just pictures of the, of the rooms. Um, there's pictures of the furniture, talking all about the furniture. And also, which is amazing, which I think, which I'm going to have a good look through. Um, look, at, look at that bedroom now. There's a, I've already read the story of that couple and, and who the, the, the waiter is at the door and what's going on. Uh, sorry, the uh, relative, I think, at the door. Um, there's a whole story behind that, which is brilliant. But at the back of the book there, um, which I just noticed before I begun the, the video, there's all the, all the different rooms are marked out, uh, what page they're on, the butler's pantry, the kitchen, the kitchen scullery, um, the thistle mirror room. And in each room, she's listed where she's got loads of parts and loads of bits and pieces or lighting or furniture. Um, there's what the one there, streets ahead. She got the wooden flooring, door handles, bedside lamps, um, the resin made, uh, blah, blah, blah. All, everything, more or less, what she's bought and hasn't made herself. She's got all the phone numbers and the contact details on the websites. So you can look at this and then you can find them in that room and go on the person's website and buy the pieces yourself. I think it's amazing, I've got to say, and the dolls are fantastic. Um, but yes, there you go. I won't go on, I won't take too much time talking about this, but I'll, uh, I will, uh, I just really wanted to show, uh, I just wanted to show you all, um, there's a, a little close up of one of the house inside, and how she's put divisions in, um, and made ensuite bathrooms and uh, boxed in stairwells and different things. There's all this information about it um, and it is one wonderful book. I have no idea if you contact Julie on D Door Designs, if she just send, if you can just buy the book and she'll post it out to you. I'm sure she, I'm sure she can. Um, forgive me if I'm wrong, but I can't see why not. It's her book and she sells them at the shows. So I'm sure you could get one and have it posted to you. But as I said, um, it smells, smells divine. I have to say, I love nice books and uh, the smell of certain books. Um, but all the projects and tips and advice um, and different changes and repairs that she's done uh, to different parts of it, it's all amazing. So anyway, and Julie, if you are watching this, you're welcome. <laughs> You've worked so hard. You've worked so hard on this uh, this book. Um, it's absolutely amazing. I would love to produce even a book half that size that people would actually want to read. Um, <laughs> answers on a postcard if you'd actually like me to think about making a book. Right. Let's move on. I've talked too much already. Sorry, folks. But as you know, every video that I do, if I'm excited about what I'm doing, which is most of my videos, it just, you know, just makes me talk. Um, let me move that slide. You probably want to see Nigel more than you want to see me, really, if we're honest. There he is. Hey, Nick. Hey, Nick. He's watching his, um, he's surveying his savannah outside, uh, making sure the other cats aren't coming into our wacky wear jungle. Let's start with this box first of all. <coughs> Let's start with this box. It's actually from D Door Designs. I shall put the link in below. So this is from uh, Julie. Um, yeah, absolutely wonderful. This is John's bits I'm going to show you first of all, just because they're the easiest to get at the moment. Um, but let me. I think this was something she had in a display that she'd made for photographing. Uh, I'm not sure really. I could, John got this while I was in another room 
and then showed me when we when we got home. But this is one of Julie's cars that she does, that she's got. I don't know how many or if she does many cars or whatever, but that, look at that. <laughs> All the detail and the, the, the dirt on it and everything, the wear and tear is fantastic. <laughs> you can see inside there and if you notice, oh no, there's a wheel missing. Refund, we want refunds. <laughs> if I put this down um, and show you, we take this out, it's not faulty at all. Let me move this camera down for you so you can hopefully, hopefully see this a bit better. Um, so we have the car mechanic here and it's a <laughs> hanky in his back pocket um, fabulous and a spanner coming out there um, and he's holding the spare tire very dirty he is um, in his grubby clothes and I'm guessing I'm guessing this is the rest of it yes we have the, the rubber tire that's around the wheel and these little bits here and you have the old-fashioned jack to uh, raise the the carb up so you can put those put those on the floor there and you can put the jack on it oops the jack on it there and hopefully you can see that okay <laughs> but that's holding the wheel a lot so it's just a little scene John likes his garage scenes, along with other types of uh, uh, scenes that he does. Um, so that's, and he loves cars, he loves his cars, so um, so he thought he'd get that. So that's that one. Let me just put that away and then we'll get something else out. Right, okay, let's move on. So this is more of the uh, things that John had bought. Let's take some different things out. Sure what they are to so unpack them properly. Just be careful. Okay. So what have we got here? Ah, that's a let me open this up. If I can take this other tape off this and tape this out. And um, this is for one of John's uh, this is for John's Tudor house. Um, the old Tudor house he bought. I think they were on the video um, when I showed the Van Allen miniatures. There they are again. Oh, that's their details at the back. I don't know if you want to pause and write anything down, but I'm sure they won't mind me advertising them. Um, it's so detailed. It's a uh, skull. Absolutely wonderful skull. You can see it properly. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? But it's uh, extremely lifelike, but smaller. <laughs> right, if I put that back in there. Do you like the skull, Nidge? What do you think of the skull? Hey, look. Oh, that's the phone. What were you saying, nice? Do you like the skull? Mm. Yeah, it's nothing to eat though, is it? So you're a bit, a bit nonplussed with that, aren't you? It's not food. He says, where's my treats? Right, okay, let's put that away and take out whatever this is. Hope you can see this properly, folks. You know my filming is rubbish because I'm not a professional YouTube director, but I'm sure it's I'm sure you'll get the uh, get the idea. You coming down to look as well now? They're books, Nigel. Just books. There we are. I'm saying just books. They're wonderful. They're really. Can you see these up close? Absolutely brilliant. They're all different shapes, different sizes, different colours. Um, they're made out of some some sort of resin, and then uh, and they're all hand painted. And 
nice job. Hand painted and uh, decorated. Um, with little squiggles on them to make them look like writing. Um, but they were very, very good price. Really, really good price. So I think John bought two lots of these, different books. So let's just put those, I can put them away properly later. Um, don't know what this is. Let's see. What did we get here? Another a card there. I don't know if this is from, from these people. I'm not sure. Ah, oh, that's more books. I won't open them up. That's that's more books. And it looks like they're from Castle Kelm's Miniatures. I hand that, hold that up for you. You can see that. Okay, that's the same thing again. So I'll leave those there. Um, what's, what's that? I suppose I don't know that might I don't know what house that's going into. And John, oh <laughs> Right, okay, this is the X-rated part. <laughs> um, so here we have, this is, if you've watched the, uh, the not the grand tour or whatever, but the tour of our dolls' houses um, in previous videos. Um, this is, uh, John did a uh, an undertaker's um, with a brothel up above, which everyone seemed to think was great fun. And we still look at it and laugh now. Um, but at the fair, John found some, I won't take them out, but he found some little tubs of um, Vaseline or lubricants and the little red boxes there have a little picture on. They're condoms. Hurrah! <laughs> so, <laughs> tiny, tiny boxes of condoms, <laughs> which you would have in a brothel, I'm sure, <laughs> if you're a safe brothel. <laughs> Right, okay, I don't want to get mixed up with these, so I'll just um, just uh, pause for a moment, I'll put these bits away and then I'll get the rest out. Okay. Let's put that down here. Right, okay. Um, now these are, oh, right, okay. Uh, in the last video of the Kensington Fair, um, just by chance, uh, when we videoed one of the uh, stalls um, in the video, showed some um, torture um, chamber stuff. And John had looked at all that um, before, in fact, when we saw them before, I think uh, in Kensington a year last year or whenever, um, and they still had it. Um, and even back then he thought to himself, I'd love to make like a room box um, and just make a sort of uh, fabulous torture chamber. Um, I don't know what that says about him. Um, but sorry about bending down. I just want you to see what what I'm look uh, what I'm showing you here. Um, yeah, I don't know what that says about John because he's actually a very calm, um, relaxed guy. <laughs> he's not. He's not. <laughs> but he just thinks in the dollhouse miniature world, a lot of people do Victorian. A lot of I mean, like this big house. Uh, this I'll show you the bits that John bought, and then I'll show you the bits that I bought for him um, as a, as his Christmas present. Um, so here we are, uh, stocks. These are all handmade by the uh, by the couple or the husband of the couple that that have the uh, the stall. Um, I, ca I can't remember their name, but I shall put a link to their website in the description box. And I did do that previously in the um, the Kensington. Uh, video before this one. So these are stocks. They actually open and close so you can get a, a figure um, of your choice who you would like to put in stocks and uh, put them in it. <laughs> so so that's that. Let's move this out of the way. We'll leave that there just now. Um, what have we got here? <laughs> here we have Oh, this is the rack. <laughs> We've got the rack. <laughs> I love that. I can't wait to see what he does with this room box, um, like decor wise. But it, uh, oh, that actually, that actually opens up and you can open it and put the, put the person's feet in and then close it again so they can't get out. <laughs> That's great. 
and then oh and then there's the ropes there's ropes there for their hands so you can uh, put their hands around here and tie them uh, at the back there sticking out and then we've got the lever there to turn to turn the rack and tighten it <laughs> uh, there, there are no words there are no words so oh what's what's in this this bag all right okay <laughs> and of course no torture chamber is uh complete without a stone sharpening uh, a stone for sharpening knives it actually works so you can turn it <laughs> you can see i don't know what that is it's some it's actually quite it look it looks and feels like stone and it's a little bit heavy so i don't know what it's made of but it's extremely it's got a slight glistening to it and slightly worn looking where it's been where it's been used so there's that put that there um, and what's this one? I can't remember now what he what he bought. What little basket? Oh, <laughs> a little basket for one's head, perhaps. <laughs> what fun! And here we have. Let me see how it. How does it go? Um, Put that in there. So here we have, let me put the basket in, ready for use. Nice clean basket, at least the customer can't complain of dirty goods um, when they have their head um, dismembered. But here we have a, a fu fully working guillotine. <laughs> oh, <laughs> excellent. I think we need maybe a Henry VIII period and uh, poor Anne um lying there poor thing anyway there we are so that's the the fully working guillotine so that's those um i think ah oh, right that's john's bits and i'm going to show you my bits i will just put these away and keep them all nice and um out of uh out of nigel's way in case he comes and attacks something so i decided I decided to buy my partner for Christmas a hangman's noose and I never thought I'd get to say that how many people can say I bought a hangman's noose for my partner for Christmas <laughs> they tried to say something and what's oh my god that actually works I haven't looked at this since we since we got it um, but let me take this out and no hangman's noose is uh, complete, apparently, until you, let me take the price off it, until you have your very own hangman. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> Actually, he, he's got a nice beard. I mean, he's probably quite a handsome chap underneath all that. And, you know, taking aside the job that he actually does, I mean, his profession, I mean, you know, everyone's got to work. <laughs> so here we are there's the hangman's noose and that one doesn't stretch so um once you um pull the lever or push it oh <laughs> it's gone it actually works <laughs> right now do you know guys i am so excited to start this um kick i can hardly wait I haven't had a proper day where I can really sort of concentrate on it for the beginning, um, but I can't wait to get these these parts out and just start putting things together um, and learning as I go along. So it will be a real journey. That's yes, lovely. Right now, these are, if you remember or if you've looked back at my videos, um, the uh, Parisian haberdashery dollhouse. Uh, downstairs in the basement which I haven't started working on so that will be other videos when I'm going to find time to try and do all this I kitchen the basement is going to be the, the kitchen downstairs and I have that to do from scratch so I've got ideas about tables and, and different things um, but these were absolute I just wanted to show you 
these were handmade um, it's actually got the you won't be able to see it on the bottom there it's too small um, but it's made by Den Young and it says 76 so I don't know if that the, I don't know what the 76 means it's at the back there that I hold in the back of the chair I mean these are amazing and what I love about as you know I love attention to detail when I can manage it myself but on here I love the fact that the seat is worn on each side where your legs would uh, where your legs would go fold that up and I think I'll do this yes this is from the same stall and it is for the same house and the same room um, yes I could have made this because of what I've made in the past but I know how long they take how much time they take and for the price this was it was a ridiculous price I have to tell you as in ridiculous as in cheap and um, but it's a nice it's a proper all of the uh, drawers and things all open and um, the cupboard open the cupboards open it's nice it's quite deep as well there so you can put lots of things in if you want to leave the cupboards open uh, but there's even little uh, I don't know if you can see them there little hooks on the sides there you can see little hooks sticking out so I'll have to I might, I mean, they'll be tiny, but I will maybe attempt to try and make some baby ceramic uh, mugs um, just to hang on there. I don't know. We'll see. If I've got time, I will. Um, I have the inclination, that's for sure, because I want to do things all the time. Um, but like the dress that I made, it's got a little towel rack on the side there, so I can hang, so hang a little towel there. But it's, it's just really well made. Ah, oh, this is from a lady called Canis. I think she's, I think they may have been sisters. I'm not sure. I should have um, spoke to the young ladies um, a bit more. Although we did talk, I didn't sort of ask too much about them. I did, I will put their link maybe if I can on the bottom of my video um, in the description box. But with them, I took, let me actually take them out so you can see them because the plastic is shiny and the light may stop you seeing them but this is for my this this is for when this has been made into a house which is going to take some time so I will have to keep these safe I don't know about you guys but do you ever buy if uh, you dollhouse people there um, if you you buy little things and think that will be great for so and so and then a year later you can't find it to put it in now you've built the house or you've now you've decorated the room God, i've lost so many things it's ridiculous but these art deco house let me hold them up and tallulah lempica cushions oh my god for art deco tallulah lempica hello <laughs> I mean, these are all soft and squishy. I mean, they're lovely, lovely little cushions and they are so in scale. They're brilliant, absolutely brilliant. I hope you can see them properly, but they are amazing. They're like taken from paintings. I'm lovely. Good. Hurrah. Right, I'll take these out and show you. If Nigel's come back in from outside and he's gone straight up on the windowsill. He's obviously seen some other cat somewhere and he's come in to watch and make sure they've left the garden. <laughs> right, if I take this out, you can't see anything in plastic properly because of all the uh, the shine off the off the light. And um, this is again, this is for the Parisian dollhouse, um, the haberdashery. This is in the lady's kitchen again, when when she does have a table to put things on or the dresser. I don't know yet. But that is a handmade bread, sliced bread with the knife and the, and the bits of uh, flour sort of messy just lying on it where it's been cut. And that's a wooden, uh, a wooden thing that it's on. Um, they are, I've seen some people make and sell, um, you know, food and bread and things. And obviously some of them are um, absolutely amazing. 
and some of them quite frankly look just like blobs of um, whatever you make these things out of and you know <laughs> you could probably do better yourself but the color in I mean that is real bread and the shape of it the way it's and around the edges the detail where it's caught the the oven and slightly burnt or slightly brown and the crumb inside the the the, 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 the you know the air holes and things I mean that is perfect perfect bread and from that um, my Parisian friend has uh, let me open it up and get this open here we go and she made herself a little sandwich um, and cut it in half so I don't know how well you can see that when I hold it up it's got ham and cucumber there sticking out. Here comes Nigel. Back. He's absolutely loving this um, box kit at the moment. Um, he's uh, he's going to be quite upset when I start pulling it apart. Although once it's empty, he'll just get inside it and sit in there. So he'll love that. If I hold those up, you can hopefully see. I mean, that's just so real looking. Unbelievable. So I'll um, I shall I'll make um, a ceramic plate. I shall make a wacky ware um, ceramic plate, a small one, um, to go in her kitchen. I shall glaze it, fire it, and then put said sandwich on it um, with a little knife or whatever beside it. So I will decorate this. I will dress this with my own ceramic plate. Hurrah! That's exciting as well when you don't you know you're going you you're going to make something for your your house but you haven't even thought what it's going to look like what color it will be if you know what pattern it will be or anything um so that's really exciting when you when you think about how am i going to do this um i'll obviously obviously have to fire that when i'm putting other things in the kiln because i'm not going to glaze and fire something that size in a kiln <laughs> over for 12 hours or whatever it takes overnight um, but at some point in our lives, folks, my lovelies, we will see a little plate um, for that sandwich. That's a bit more down the line, I am imagining, but it will come. It will come. So that's that. Let me put that away. We've just got a little bit more to show. Oh, right. Ah, in the haberdashery shop, in one of my videos, I did say that I wanted to get a couple more pieces to go in the actual haberdashery shop itself. Um, there's a little um, basket there of, and this fabulous little basket there, just with all notions in, there's a little paper thing there, a pattern or something. Here we are last, but not least. Um, this is the, this is for, Art Deco House, hey you, Art Deco House, when I put this together, I'm not sure how they're going to work yet, I'm not even sure how they're going to fit, but I shall make something out of them, let's get rid of these, so if I hold up, I'll be very careful because they're, they're very, um, very bendy, if you can see they're very bendy, I don't want to snap anything, but these are laser cut pieces and if I hold it against my sweater and then you can see it better but very art deco which in this art deco house hopefully will look amazing so um, I was going to this was um, as I said in the previous video where John had seen all the torture stuff but didn't have a room box to put it in and ummed and ahed and left it yet again that was the second year we've seen them and he's, he left the stuff there um, and uh, we walked out of the building and through a glass door we could see another section that we hadn't been in and it had these in a plastic tray just lying in a plastic tray I think and it had a three pound price sticker on them and John no I didn't even notice them but John noticed them through the window of the building 
and said, look, there's Art Deco things there. Couldn't you do something with those? And first of all, I thought I could put maybe, you know, I mean, I may still do it, um, put a piece of um, um, plastic glass or whatever it's called, perspex glass, mirrored glass, mirrored perspex, whatever, um, behind it and make a mirror. Um, you know, it could be a mirror or whatever. Um, but then because I was so cheap, I bought five of them um, and I thought maybe they could be painted um, whatever colour in the room and then fixed to the walls of, of the room in a line to make a sort of Art Deco panel in effect in one of the one of the rooms wow. in the same place which are amazing and again these are going to be uh, painted um, they may be painted an Art Deco colour I will you know I, I, I have Art Deco colours in my head um, but I can uh, research I love doing a bit of research looked at them and imagined immediately painting them and then sticking them up on a ceiling in a room so when you look up into the room you've got this um, design on on your ceiling yeah. which you can see them better like that but they might be too far away in the video sorry if they are um but yeah um i can't think any other what other reason they're for i didn't ask the person that was selling them um, I just saw them for what I had in my head and maybe what I have in my head is what they're for so whatever but that look there's another one this size if you can see it properly look at that absolutely amazing and you know so art deco it's unbelievable so they will be I'll either paint them a colour or I shall um, uh, I don't know how oh, it might be too difficult and maybe not neat enough, I don't know, but I may even uh, leaf them, like gold leaf, um, in a room with gold and different colour, black and gold. I may make gold leaf them, or chrome them, silver leaf them. I don't know what's going to look best for them. Um, but there's that one, and this is obviously for one of the bigger rooms, because I've got the big, large rooms and smaller rooms, so I don't actually know what each, <coughs> each room is going to be yet. But I just, while you're there and you're all the way to London, um, you don't want to leave these things and come home and then wish you bought them. So there's a fabulous big rectangular one, um, which will be again painted and then stuck onto a, a ceiling. And then the last one, a big one but square. That's that one there. But aren't they just oozing Art Deco? Absolutely wonderful. I mean that, I don't know, even that one with um, some kind of Art Deco design or painting uh, in, in the circle piece here and then on the ceiling. So you're looking up at this Art Deco painting inside. I don't know. Who knows? Who cares? <laughs> so there we are. There we have it, folks. Oh, okay, Nidge. Are you going to come and say hello? You'll probably moan at me because I'm picking you up. My little squeak. Oh, oh, there we are. Let's put you there. Oh, little boy. Look. There's my baby. Let's put, put him there and say bye bye. Bye bye, folks. Oh. oh, I can feel him purring under my hand. He purrs all the time, don't you? Anyway, thank you very much. It's all right. He's going to attack the bags. He loves bags. Um, lovely to speak to you folks let me just move the camera up slightly there we are <clears throat> lovely to speak to you hope you are all well which is the main thing um nigel is now sitting on my art deco laser cut pieces and attacking tissue there you go well done boy um you see it off yes you show it what for how about getting in there? Do you want to get in? Although you probably can't get in there, can you? He's trying to open that end. He's so clever. There he goes. There you go. He won't get in there. There's all the boxes are in there now. Oh, he's just going to rub himself on them. Okay. It's like a box fetish, isn't it? <laughs> well, we have dollhouse fetishes, so why not? There we are. Anyway, um, it's goodbye from Nigel. 
Goodbye from me. <laughs> and hopefully hope to speak to you again soon. I'd love to be able to see you. Like I met that lady and husband and friend at the um, at the fair. Um, that was so nice to meet someone face to face. So if you're watching, um, I hope you're well too and I hope you've enjoyed this video. Take care of all. Speak again real soon when I get on to this. Bye all.